Hello, this is me, Judgy Jane Sad, and I've got a quick video here. My battery in my second machine has died. The BIOS battery is reporting flat, so I'll switch it on. This is a Octopex 755, it's my former main machine. Gives me a weird error, I've got the CRT here. I just switched it on like 10 minutes ago and it's given me really weird stuff going on here. Come on. System is very quick, it just says I get this going on. We apologise for the inconvenience. Windows did not successfully start, so we've got safe mode. We'll try it in safe mode. I never actually had this problem before with the back triggers on it. Alright, XP person, it's just resetting. Doing this business here. I hold it onto here. We well, put the camera here and it should say battery voltage. So yeah, the battery's gone on the BIOS. Safe mode again. It just resets. Keeps doing that. I've never had this before. Which is weird. I thought it would still work even though the BIOS battery was um, flat. It just keeps resetting in this cycle. So, <sighs> turn it off. Okay. So, I'm going to have to swap the batch. I've taken one out of here. This is another machine I don't use, an old. Um... Oh, come on, focus. Not focusing. Yeah, they'll take the battery out of this old machine here. This is a Fujitsu machine, so I don't use Corti Joe. So I've got a battery there. This bloody thing's about as old as this is, so I don't know if this is the original battery or not, so I'm gonna have to. I'm getting a new headset and I had to swap the machines over because I was using a kind of a microphone for my old headset that I'd spliced into a cable and my normal Pentium D the audio is really bad on it with it without the sound card and with the sound card it's a bit noisy or comes out sort of soft so uh, there's a little git right there so I thought this was gonna work, but I've got to get this out now. Come on. I think this is, I've had this since 2012. I think this battery might be original to the machine. So that's gotta be seven or eight years, I think. That's the old one. We'll try a new one. Same thing, aren't they? So I put a, there's the battery, very annoying, <laughs> full of dust this is, damn it, it should hopefully work. Feels to be. Is it working? Comes straight on. I'm really annoyed at that because I wish it didn't do that. But and the bias is going to be. There we are. It's doing something. So I didn't know it did that. I thought it would just. Yeah, time of day, not set. Uh... I have to do this in a minute. doesn't like the time being wrong. Well, that's not my fault. It's the 31st, isn't it, today? No, June. Sorry, I did it wrong. I think it's 2012, look here. Uh, it's three... It was 12 hours, isn't it? I don't know what the time is in here. It's that 15 failed on me. Okay, I'm going to PM on that. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna do that. I don't know why it's playing up like this. I'm only using this because I was using an analog microphone from a USB headset and it sounds better through this one. WXP being a git because it's 64, it's a bit highly strung. I'll change the bloody battery over, start Windows normally. And kept resetting. Oh, it's doing it again! I don't know what it's doing. <coughs> Something's been reset or changed because that battery went flat. Right, I've got the XP Pro 64 CD in the disc, in the drive. And I, it basically, the, the BIOS battery has caused, as far as I can work out, a really bad error or bad fault with Windows and I don't want to have to reinstall it just because of the battery going flat on it. So I've got this going on here. So I'm doing this I don't know what I'm going to have to do to fix it because maybe it needs to be refreshed, I don't know. Not bloody booting. Oh, this machine, it's, it was my main machine until two years ago. Oh, bloody hell, what's that? What? Why is it... What? Oh, you've got to be joking me. What is this? What does that mean? What? Oh, crying out loud, what's the... Could this be because I changed the processor over when I went from the Conroe to the Wolfdale? And then, because I swapped the processors out and I put the Core 2 Quad into my main machine there and this one had XP Pro 64, I had the Conroe, which is the oldest Core 2 Duo I took it out and put a Wolfdale in it and it was fine Could that be related to that? No. Bloody blue screen. I could Google that, but it probably is meaningless. What would it do that for? Oh, I don't believe this. Right, nothing's worked, but this might do. So let's do that. Tell me this is what's the matter with it. All I ever seem to find, I Googled. CMOS battery and a Dell, a Windows not loading. It's obviously something to do with the settings that are on here. And I don't know what the settings were or what it is that this, this has done. What was, I don't know what it is that's changed that, that, that makes this not work. Alright, so I got it, I got it working, I got it working. I didn't. Went to a website and I found some information that I'm sure I tried this. The right, I bloody wasn't recording it. Let's go and reboot. It's working. It's working. Okay. Let's restart. I'll go into the. I'll, this is a guide then. So basically, if your battery dies on your Dell, I'm not sure about other machines. Okay, let's go F2. Basically, wait a minute. SATA zero must be on. So there's drives, diskette drive. This is drives. You got your list of drives there. SATA zero must be on, but that's the optical drive. And I got this hard drive on SATA three, which is on. And The, oh, the bloody hell is it? It goes to that one as standard when you reset everything, but you want it on the middle one. So RAID or Detect ATA. This is an older hard drive as well, but I'm not sure if this works with the latest hard drives. But the one I've got in here, it's, this is what it's been on since I had my 500 gig hard drive as well, my more modern one. So I had it on that one pretty much since I first had it practically. 
and there was something else that might conflict which is oops, damn it I'm doing it now integrated nick must be turned off because it talks about um, image server and if I turn that off the image server is um, incompatible with raid mode please disable raid when enabling image server so I just turned off image server which is where's that this bloody thing is it image server I don't think you can turn it off necessarily but it's I don't know what this is this is something to do with the NIC, integrated NIC or something but I'm sure I tried some of these and maybe it was just I, it, I wasn't getting it right but I'm not prepared to reinstall Windows over a flat BIOS CMOS battery CMOS, I keep calling it BIOS, it's a CMOS um, so yeah, integrated NIC is off my drive is on SATA 3 and 0 must be enabled or something, it was, I'm sure it was before um, but it, I'm sure I put that onto the middle one before and didn't do it, I'm sure I did I'm sure I did but now it's working so I don't oh here's the thing, I mean I went to this website here uh, this Adele Thing there, and it's. I probably could post this link actually if you, if you get trouble with this. It's mostly to be Dell systems have this problem. After several hours of experimenting, I finally figured out the correct bar settings in order to get the computer to boot. There are three bar settings that have to be changed or checked from default settings to get it to work. SATA 0 must be on, SATA operations must be changed from AHCI to ATA. I didn't have a module, I don't know what they meant by modular bay, I couldn't, I haven't got a modular bay, this is an ultra form format, uh, where is it? I, I've got the, the big tower version of this same model, so I don't know what a modular bay, to the default, it must be, the default must be on, I don't know what that means, on, and this must be changed, and the modular bay, the default on setting must be changed to IDE, well I did, SATA 0 was on and I changed ACHI to ATA and it worked so I don't know if that's exactly what I did I, I did that but I'm sure I tried that that's what I'm confused at but anyway let's exit I won't change that I don't know if this applies only to Dell systems I don't know um, 755 that I've got here um, I've had, I'm sure I've had flat batteries before for the CMOS or the BIOS setup or whatever and it only gives you the, a little bit of grief about the date and time and that's it, and, but, it but it works so I don't know these are more complicated later and it's working bloody hell I would have been here all day if I hadn't had the internet so that saved me a little bit but uh, yeah, if you ever have problems with your Dell, because the BIOS or the CMOS battery went flat on it, and then ACHI, it's ADA, under that setting, and then make sure SATA 0 is on, and turn off the integrated NIC, or whatever that is, and it should work.